I spoke to the management of Shri Cements earlier, Mr. H. M. Bangur, who's MD at Shri Cements, and when I asked him about the recent commissioning uh, that has been done by Shri Cements, despite the fact that the industry already has a has excessive capacity, then what is really the need for this, and what kind of a demand are they foreseeing ahead? Then this is what he had to say. Chhattisgarh, we have added the grinding capacity, and after that, our total capacity is about 22 million ton and within next two months that is by 15th of may or so we will be adding and starting there our clinkerization unit after that the unit will be serving chhattisgarh as well as our bihar unit and what are the plans ahead for fy16 will you be further uh, looking forward to expand the capacity then no right now after this we will we are creating a capacity in up bulansar we are putting a grinding unit as present we have some surplus clinker and some additional grinding capacity will only help but the core capacity will remain the same last when we spoke to you you spoke about you know over capacity and under utilization how soon do you see a uh, utilization levels improving for the cement sector right now the utilization levels are not at all better uh, the growth for last 2 years or 3 years in uh, indian cement industry is very very low if we take last 3 years growth cagr of growth in last 3 years is about uh, 2% to 2.5% that is absolutely low growth which was not projected now with the good expectations are there that road sector is coming with cement and it may increase the growth level to another 10 to 12% this year but that is right now only expectation so there are a lot of expectations uh, you know considering government's push as well on the road space in particular is concerned what's the expectation uh, what's the outlook ahead as far as your sales and volumes are concerned for fy16 in fact we have to prepare for capacity addition uh, about 3 years earlier 3 years back whatever were the projections uh, somehow the projections of indian cap consumption has gone totally wrong and the cement industry is uh, loaded with very high extra capacity now when the capacity utilization is low maybe after 2 years or 3 years we will suddenly find very low capacity addition because right now capacity addition is not taking as much as was taking earlier but still what kind of a guidance uh, would you want to give at this point in time for fy16 as far as the volume growth is concerned uh, i am very bullish and i expect that uh, cement consumption will increase because of the road sector because of infrastructure sector and government spending which was totally absent in last 3 years so i expect a 10% growth and if 10% cement growth is there sri cement will be growing by 14 to 15% as we have already created very high capacity and we are ready to serve the nation so can we now safely say that the worst is over for the sector and we are now uh, we can expect some good times ahead at least for the cement space of course uh, we were likely to see good times because this year fourth quarter uh, realization in north india is uh, lower compared to last year fourth quarter by 8 to 10% uh, uh. so uh, compared to last quarter we are a little better off but uh, only with uh, this is the rock bottom price below which uh, the units will not be viable so the things can and the prices can only go up uh you know uh, there was also this report which came in that many of the cement companies had reversed their prices in the month of february after hiking it in the month of january did you also do that it is a matter of demand supply suddenly uh, some rains come and then uh, you don't find any buyer uh, suddenly the transport system some blockage is there rakes are not available local shortages are there prices go up 
it is a very day to day trend or week to week trend you can't uh, talk of january price increase february overall capacity surplus is there and as no new not much new capacity is coming in the north i expect a capacity utilization to bet, be better prices should go only up from here prices should go only up from here but how soon can we really expect a price hike from your company no 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 we can we hope only we can't uh, predict the market behavior uh, as the prices are lower com by 10% compared to last quarter and uh, the cost increase has taken place there is a tremendous pressure on the margin such low margins cannot be a permanent feature but when the prices will go up it only depends on uh, the market demand supply situation both macro and micro so uh, we cannot predict any uh, time frame or the amount of price rise that much i know that in short term the prices if doesn't go up uh, industry will not be able to service its debts or other pro other things no development can take place So price hike clearly is the need of the hour at this point in time. What's the uh, capex plan ahead for FY16? How much are you looking to invest? FY16, our Raipur project will be complete. Uh, some uh, waste heat recovery power plant will be complete, and we are not adding much of the cement capacity, as we have just completed cement capacity in FY15. and in fy16 some spill over say raipur plant will be started in april to may chatisgarh so that should take care of the and we are consolidating this in the year 16 All right so there was the management of Shree Cement talking about their company and really what is the need of the hour as far as the sector is concerned so price hike is something which the company and the sector needs right now